Hello and welcome back to the uh, Angerati studio here at European Utility Week. I am joined now by Mr. Yokota, who is the Vice President and General Manager at uh, Toshiba Corporation. Uh, and I believe you're also board member of uh, Landis and Gear. It is right. Yeah, yeah. Um, firstly, Mr. Yokota, thank you for making the time uh, to join us today at, the, uh, at, the, at the studio. And uh, we were talking a little bit uh, uh, off air, and uh, uh, you were saying that uh, the, the developments that uh, you saw on the show floor, there were some quite exciting things. But Toshiba, as one of the lead sponsors of, uh, uh, of this event, mm -hmm. um, if I can ask, uh, you know, what are the sort of innovations that you're seeing uh, mm -hmm. uh, on the smart grid? And, uh, um, you know, where are you going as a company as well? Okay. So two questions in one. <laughs> sure. And first of all, uh, we are very proud, very, very happy to be the uh, sponsor of this exhibition. Mm -hmm. uh, this exhibition performance and uh, uh, function is very much important in our industry. Okay, get back to your question answer. Mm -hmm. So one question, one answer of that, uh, our playing area is not only smart grid, but also the smart grid is a little bit ambiguity word just now. Mm -hmm. uh, this word including very broad and the entire range. So if we talk about the smart uh, community, uh, it's very much broad, including the city development like, you know. Today, we indicated that uh, including land and gear activity and our Toshiba. This combined exhibition is our policy of the how we can improve and develop of the eco-efficiency energy improvement in your life, in just your front, like including electricity supply, gas supply, and water. And uh, all of this thing, these things is a very key factor of the living life maintaining. So today is our main, main factor, main portion is uh, how we can uh, improve your life in the uh, energy efficiency. And, and how are you seeing that playing out? Because some of the other interviews we've done up until now, mm -hmm. they've been, uh, a lot of people have highlighted issues around regulation and standardization as being yeah, a barrier. That's right. Uh, where do you see that? Do you see that n normalizing pretty rapidly? Because there is mm -hmm. another sense that a lot of people here just want to get on with it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay, is this is uh, this is uh, this is absolutely my private opinion. I belonging uh, uh, a lot of the international society uh, association like uh, IEC or CIGRE. Actually, the standardization is very important and key. But you can see. The uh, society itself is very much developing by naturally. This is depend on the up to the everyone. Mm -hmm. So the now the so city life requires the more than expanding area. Always the standardization, standard level criteria is a little bit behind, step back than our requirement. So our industry people have to look for uh, which area is a discrepancy of the current standard and required of the society. This is the importance point. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think that's a very valid point because sure. if, you, if you don't tie the two together, because mm -hmm. um, one of the other things that came out was uh, the, the, the entire thing about uh, affecting consumer behavior mm -hmm. as a result of smart grids. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, you know, the, the, some of the immediate perceptions where people say, oh, well, we can now turn the consumer off. You're mm -hmm. like, going, well, hang on a minute. Th there needs to be a degree of empathy between, uh, <laughs> you know, what the consumer wants and mm -hmm. what is good, uh, good for the business. Mm. Um, th there's another I I point that I, w I wanted to explore because I I you mentioned it when we were talking off air. Mm. Uh, obviously, Toshiba does a lot of things. It's a vast company. You're, mm -hmm. you're also involved in building out some of the appliances that will end up in the home yes. um, and utilize the, that uh, smart grid. And, and we've done a, this strategic report uh, just recently. Mm -hmm. And we found that there, uh, there may still be a disconnect mm -hmm. between the smart grid mm -hmm. and the appliance. Mm -hmm. At what point do you see, uh, you know, again, this can be your personal opinion, at what point do you see that we will actually have that full join, you know, that uh, yeah. all the way to the kettle? Mm. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, yeah, and, and so 
difficult question, but uh, finally, we, uh, I'm one of the residential person in community. So finally, we, I want to get it of the very, almost like an air, like nothing to consider about the each apparatus automatically communicate over the each other, communicate in each other, not only smart meter, but mm -hmm. also the each refrigerator or the air conditioner, airbag system, everyone can communicate easily to some, uh, I'm not sure, the uh, HEMS is one of the mm -hmm. CPU in the house, mm -hmm. but HEMS is no, not satisfied to control the all of thing. So probably every, mm, uh, some functionality, uh, development and the uh, reaction was controlled by the crowd basis of the very far place operation. So we don't need to touch in usual, but everything carry out very optimized basis, comfortability. This is the best. And, and, and I suppose that's the sell that needs to be made to to the consumer, isn't it? That mm. this is uh, this is not about uh, this is about giving you comfort of living, mm -hmm. but also making you an optimal energy consumer mm -hmm. without you having to run around turning switches on and off, you mm -hmm. know, uh, uh, because you're not at home all the time, are you? Yeah. 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 Uh, where do you, uh, what steps did you, because there's, uh, there's still a lot of talk about, uh, you know, which protocol is going to win in home? Is it going to be Zigbee? Uh -huh. Is it going to be uh, uh, Bluetooth? Is it going to be, you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, where do you see that mm -hmm. going? Uh, mm. Well, I think the Zigbee is one of the best, one of the best. And uh, of course, you already use of the uh, Wi-Fi LAN, uh, that uh, computing communication. That is also possible to use. So um, actually, just this issue is very sensitive stage in, in European standardization meeting. The SEPs, mm. uh, SEP in from uh, American ANSI requirement is a little bit the dis difference of the connects of the European opinion. Mm. Uh, uh, we are the Japanese uh, group, but uh, our Japanese group is perfectly for for it up of the uh, American SEPs. So this is perfect compatibility. Uh, but I think SEP and Connex, uh, including Zigbee, the Zigbee is uh, very uh, spread already in... Mm. It's taking the lead, isn't it, d d a little bit? Uh, mm. You know, d d I, I think four or five years ago, there was a, there was a, a little bit of uh, uh, shuffling around as to which one, but it seems like Zigbee is rising above the others uh, mm. in terms of the, uh, the lead protocol. Uh, actually, this is my private opinion, but I think so. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> yes, I think yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, we're uh, we're mm. coming close to the uh, end of our time here. I'd, I'd like to ask you one question, as, as mm. clearly as someone who's been in the industry and uh, mm -hmm. you know one of the leaders in the industry uh, w walking around the show um, uh, I don't know whether you just arrived today or, or, or you were here yesterday as well what are some of the things that you have observed being here that are, that are kind of exciting you about uh, mm -hmm. this market w and where the potential is well mm, so uh, I can feel of the very uptight of that uh, every manufacturing and uh, utilities power, everyone want to, anyone would like to cope with of this uh, new business. But this is not business. This is absolutely uh, very useful for the every person near the living life improvement. So um, each booth indicated that to how they can deal with uh, some improvement of the, your life or the, your energy consumption, uh, da, da, da. So the, this kind of very strong emphasizing point, e everyone has. Uh, this is very impressive. If we go to the other exhibition, exhibition is only indicated that uh, we are the manufacturer, our machine performance is da, da, da. Mm. This performance is the highest, da, something like. Mm. But this exhibition is different how we can touch of the, your life improvement. 
Exactly. This is very good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, uh, I'm glad you felt that. It's it's a sense of uh, uh, what we're getting at. That's uh, that's all we have got time for today, Mr. Yokota. Thank you for making time in the it's studio, time. and uh, you know, thank you again uh, uh, on behalf of the organisers for being one of the lead sponsors here. You know, uh, uh, things don't work without the support of companies like uh, Toshiba as well. So uh, it's a very great pleasure for us okay. also. Thank you very much. That's a good experience. Yeah. Thank you for watching this interview. Uh, many more on uh, uh, ngerati.com and uh, we'll also obviously be uh, doing more interviews at uh, other energy events that we, uh, uh, that we are part of uh, organizing. So look forward to seeing you there.